Hi guys, James Bucker here. Trying to shoot a video here. I want to share with you the importance of learning and knowing how there's some tools that's in your desk. And I had it on my profile. And when I went into my desktop, this picture here was too big to upload to my profile here. And so when you get ready to change photo let me show you how right here if I hit change photo right here it automatically default to browse in my picture section and when it does it gives you an opportunity to change your photo and what I done was I tried to put a photo in there and that photo happened to be all right, right here. All right, see this photo right here? Now, if I hit browse, it'll go to a station to my pictures. If I put my cursor over that picture, it'll tell me how much dimensions are. And see right down at the bottom there, where it says dimensions, 1536 pixels by 248 pixels. So I want to change that picture to a form that I load up in my profile you maybe want to put you another picture in your Facebook profile and then it don't show the whole picture because your picture is actually too big to go in the actual place where the picture is to be located or to be uploaded so let me show you how to do that what I do is I right click on my picture and then this this a, a pop open and I'll hit uh, open with and you can't see that but I'll open with a program called paint and when I open that in paint it, it'll come up like this alright you see you see how all you see there is a wall all you see there is a wall that's because that picture is so big and so and here's what you do in order to make that picture small enough to use let me get over here All right, what you want to do is You want to take this button right here and and hit view and drop down. You want to make sure you got your toolbar, your color bar, your status bar open. Then you want to take. You want to hit this little button right here image and once you hit the image button it'll say attributes you click that it'll tell you what the height of that is see it's 1536 width and 200 2048 pixels height and it'll tell you if the picture's in color, if you want it in colors or black and white, and you leave it in colors. But you know that's too big. So what you want to do is you want to go back up here. You want to hit you want to hit the same image. You want to hit resize. And right here to tell you, so you want to play with this right here a little bit. It says it's at 100% right now. 
So I want to I want to drop that down to about say 65 percent, 65 percent horizontal, and 65 percent vertical. I hit OK, and it automatically drop that picture. Now you see right here is the top of my head, so we know 65 percent brought that in some. So we'll go back again. We we'll hit image, resize. We'll make this thing this time. Let's go 25% uh, of of that picture. We hit OK. Bingo. See how it came in here at 25%. Now, if we look at this picture now, and we go attributes, it tells you that that picture is 250 width and 333 height whole lot different from the big pixels that it was currently was and if you cancel that you go right back to it or say that's still not big enough say you want it uh, less than 250 pixels wide and 333 pixels height so if you want to uh, lower the height up so you go back up to or hit OK you go back up to image you you put resize Leave the horizontal like it is. Change the vertical to say 45%. Okay, see that's too much. So if it's too much, you go back up to your edit and you hit undo and it'll bring it back. So 45% is too much. So what you want to do is you want to hit resize. And this is called paint. Most computers come with that. So 45 was too much. Let's go 10 percent. Oh no, I want to go the opposite way. Sorry about that. Let me hit undo. Let's go to. I want to go the other way. So let's go to. Let's leave that to about 90 percent. We'll make that 90%, okay? All right, it dropped it down. Now, what is this? what did it change from? Attributes. The the width, the height is 300. It was 333. So we know that 90% of that would be 333 pixels. And now we want to change it a little bit lower than that. Let's make it 250 wide pixels. And it's 300 pixels height, so let's make it about vertical again. Let's go with 85. See how many pixels of that changes. That's about right. Now let's see how that's going to look. We go to attributes. That's 250 pixels width. And then 255 height, and that's a pretty good size picture there. So once you get through with that, now it's hit over here. Save this file. Save it as. It's, it'll tell you the file that it was. It was uh, iPhone imports 013 JPEG, and we'll call that uh, the man pic picture, and we'll save it. Still be a 13, but it'll go in my pictures, and we can hit stop. Go back into the pictures to the man. All of them is eyes because they're iPhone imports. Right there it is, the man. We put we hover over it. It's 250 by 255. That's the way you change a picture size. And if you look at the one, the original one, again, right there is the original picture, and it was 1536 width and 2048 tall. So this is James Buckley, guys. Just want to show you a quick way that you can go into your computer. And now if I want to upload this, I can hit browse and go to that picture. 
it'll upload that the man photo hit open upload and that picture of start of land right there there's my picture is voila it fell right in there at that size and normally it was X amount of pixels too big 1600 by 2800 so this is James Bucket guys thank you for watching look forward to seeing you on the next video